Hello, I'm Steve Goodman from Practical365. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can set your own custom background in Microsoft Teams. So Microsoft Teams recently got a new feature that enables us to change our background to anything that we want. Now, we start off with either background blur or a list of pre-selected backgrounds from Microsoft. But I'm gonna show you how you can upload your own background into Teams to customize the meeting to the way that you want. Now, I'm gonna go over to Microsoft Teams and show you how this works. So, I'm in Teams, and I'm just gonna go into a normal meeting as usual. I'm gonna press Join, and you'll see my camera pops on here. And you'll see on the screen here, I've got in the middle something called background effects here. So if I click this, then I'll get a whole list of these. And I've got the old background blur feature that makes it look like I've got a high-end DLSR instead of a webcam. And I've got Microsoft's built-in backgrounds that we can use. So if I feel like being back at the office, then I can be. But if you look through these and you think, well, none of these are for me, then it's possible and quite easy to set your own. So I'm going to back out of my meeting now, and I'm going to go and download some custom images. A great place to get custom images that are royalty free, so no copyright issues if you show them in meetings, is a website called unsplash.com. So I'm gonna to go to that, and we've got all sorts of images here, people at work, we've got people in offices, we've got people digging holes. So a good search on here is landscapes. So I'm gonna look through some of these, and where do I fancy being today? I wouldn't mind going out into a field. I'm in the UK, so that's okay. I can download that. Now, if I pick the original size, then that might be too big for Teams. So I'm gonna pick medium. So the best size for Microsoft Teams background effects is full HD, so 1920 by 1080. And this is about right. So I'm gonna click on this to download that. That's gonna download a copy of that file into my downloads folder. Now there's a load of other websites like the BBC, Pixar, Ikea and others that have also made available a repository of backgrounds that you can use. So I'm gonna to go to a website backgroundsbyikea.com and I'm gonna pick a background from there to use in my meeting. So if I scroll down to this and I select something I fancy, so maybe I fancy being on the beach, wouldn't that be nice? I'll download that background and I'll have two new backgrounds that I can use inside Teams. Now these downloaded into my downloads folder on the computer. So I need to select both of these and then I'm gonna use Control and C to make a copy of those. And then I need to put them into the right place inside the Teams application folder. Now soon will come the feature that allows you to upload these from the client. The reason it's not there at the moment yet is they want to make sure that IT admins can put special controls on to either disabling uploading backgrounds uh, or enabling it. And that's especially important in situations like education. So that might be a reason why you don't see that today or it gets removed in the future by your admin. Now, I'm gonna go right into the place inside the application folder where we're gonna add these. And that's percent app data, percent Microsoft, Teams, backgrounds and then in here I've got an uploads folder now if you can't remember that path have a look on practical365.com at the article we've got the full path for the PC and the full path to find on a Mac if you're using one of those now we need to put it into this uploads folder here so I'm going to double click in that and I can press Control and V to paste these both in and we're done so I'm going to go back into my meeting and then when I select background effects, then I'm gonna have more backgrounds to pick from at the bottom. So you'll see my two new backgrounds here. I've got my fields and I've also got my beach. I fancy being at the beach, that looks absolutely lovely. And when I join my meeting, people will think I'm somewhere else or maybe not. So if you like that, then don't forget to subscribe to the Practical365 YouTube channel today. And of course you can find us on Twitter at Practical365 and over on Facebook. Thanks very much for watching.